with this background we now come to another important aspect just in case of demand the aspect was there we will talk about the second part of our topic first part was simply supply second part of our topic that is price elasticity of supply i will use the symbol es for this price elasticity of supply meaning is the same as was in case of demand the meaning is degree of response to change in supply due to change in price degree of response and degree of response here means rate of change as in case of demand rate of change and the rate of change simply means percentage change in supply divided by percentage change in price that is the meaning of price elasticity of demand we can study in case of this this we will study two methods of measuring price elasticity of supply let us come to this methods methods of measurement one method is the same which was in case of demand what we call it as percentage change method percentage change method in case of demand we have derived that method we can we, we need not go into again and again we derive in the same manner as in case of demand you can read it from there but method remains the same p upon q into delta q upon delta p the method remains the same as was in case of demand only difference is in case of demand the result was carrying minus sign the result was carrying minus sign because there is inverse relation between price and demand but in this case the result will carry plus sign because we have assumed that when price falls supply also falls when price rises supply also rises so there is a direct relation there is a direct relation between price and supply so if price falls delta p will be minus delta q will be minus and minus minus cancel out the answer will be in plus if price rises delta p will be plus delta q will be plus positive to answer in this case in a upward sloping supply curve or in a in case of situation where there is direct relation between price and supply the answer of price elasticity will always be plus this is one method then we come to the second method which is different from what you have studied in case of demand geometric method it is also a point method we measure price elasticity at a point of supply curve in the same way point means the same way as in demand let us first take an example
Suppose this is the supply curve. And we want to find price elasticity at this point. Let this point be A. Don't forget to mention what you show on the y-axis and what you show on the x-axis, quantity supplied. To find ES at point A. There is proof of this method, mathematical proof of this method. It is given in the appendix of my book. But that proof is not a part of the curriculum. It is not required. But if you are interested, you want to satisfy your curiosity, you can go to the appendix and see how it is proved. We will give only the result, the result of the proof, the method. The method is in two steps. One step is extend supply curve till it intersects the negative part of the x-axis. Let us call it B. Steps. One extend supply curve till it touches x axis. x axis, whether extended, whether this, that does not matter. It should touch x axis. In this case, it is touching extended x axis. This is one. The second is draw a perpendicular from A intersecting x axis at let us say at C. Draw a perpendicular at A intersecting, we can use the touching or intersecting, it means the same thing, x axis at C. These are the two steps which we have to take. How many perpendicular liya? A se or supply curve ko extend kiya. Then after taking these two steps, the method is that elasticity of supply at A. Remember, it refers to only A. If you change the point here, supply will, elasticity of supply will change. This is taken as equal to BC upon OC. BC upon OC. Ab isko journalize kare. How to journalize? Maine do likto diya. What is BC? It is a distance between supply curve intercept and perpendicular intercept. Distance between supply curve intercept and perpendicular intercept. Which is equal to supply curve intercept is at B, perpendicular intercept is at C, the difference between the two is BC. So, this is the numerator. 
the denominator is distance between origin origin means this and perpendicular intercept which is OC. Now what do you find? What can you say about the let us say the numerical value of elasticity? Of course if you know how much is BC and how much is OC you can find out. So since we have not taken any figures here so it may be difficult to find out. Suppose BC is equal to 10 and OC is equal to 5 then 10 upon 5 becomes that is 2 becomes. But one thing is clear it is greater than 1 or you simply say elastic. Elastic ka matlab hota hai greater than 1 or it is simply greater than 1. So ab isko hum generalize kar sakte hai. Any supply curve intersecting through y axis or starting from y axis has elasticity of